This is my model today, this is a before, this is what we're going to be working with but we're going to be doing a blonde all over colour and a haircut on her. I just want to say if you're not a professional hairdresser and you're watching this video to try and get tips to do this at home, I advise against it. I advise to go and see a professional and actually have it done properly. And this is why, because we're going to be using the Paul Mitchell Synchro Lift and the 20 volume which is only available to licensed hairdressers. We're going to be toning with the Paul Mitchell the Demi the 10V with the Paul Mitchell processing liquid again only available to hairdressers. So we're going to start applying the color but we're going to dab it on we're not spreading it so we're just covering each side of a regrowth with the synchro lift and the 20 volume. The reason why I say go see a professional when you're doing this don't do it at home because it can get dangerous, you can cause damage to the scalp, you can cause damage to the hair. It, it's got to be done professional. Now, it's time and time again, I have clients coming in that have tried it at home, and it's always, it's not a good result. Now, don't get me wrong, I know there are some hairdressers that also do not do a good result. So, you've just got to be careful on who you see. Now, we're not going to put this under any heat, but I am going to put a cap over it just so the color doesn't dry out. We don't want that getting flaky or we don't want it to dry out too much. So what I do is I let it process for about 35 to 40 minutes, but I continually check it every 5 to 10 minutes. I've let my toner on, the 10V, and I've let that process for 15 minutes. I'm going to cut it, but I'm actually going to go back over it with a 9V toner underneath. And this is the reason why, is because I didn't put the toner underneath with the 10V. I'm going to do the 9V underneath. So it still appears a little bit yellow underneath as I'm cutting it. But remember, you'll see the end result. I am going to go back over this. But let's go ahead and start the haircut. So here's the thing. I'm not going to break down the whole haircut for you. I'm going to show you a few little tips that I like to do. But again, I'm not going to bore you and break down the whole haircut. Because we're doing a layered bob. So basically just bringing everything down to start with. Make sure we get the length right. So what I like to do is just basically work all the way up to the occipital, bringing everything down. That controls my length. Once I'm at the occipital bone, my next section, I don't actually bring straight down, I bring out. And that creates my layer. So I'm sort of taking a bit of a shortcut here. I'm taking that guideline down the bottom and I'm bringing it straight out and cutting a 90 just to create the layer. So I'm not having to cut the hair twice. Now remember, I am going to go back through and tone this underneath with a darker shade because I know you're looking at it thinking this color is a little bit distorted or you can see a band in the color. I'm actually going to make that disappear once I finish the haircut. And I guess I feel that I have to say it because there's so many critics out there. There's people that are going to watch this that pick the crap out of all the haircuts or all the videos that they see. But anyway, so let's move on to the side. I'm just going to connect the sides, making sure the length is all the same all the way around. And then I'm going to go through and connect the top. And the way I connect the top is just basically bring it straight up. Take that layer because we want that layered right across the top. Real simple, layered bob. When I say simple, it's simple to understand if you're a hairdresser. If you're not a hairdresser, you may not understand the concept. But if you're a hairdresser watching this video, all we're doing is connecting that top and I'm point cutting it all the way through. And here's the end result after drying it. Look, I love the way this color turned out. I love the way the haircut turned out. So let's just look at it side by side. So that's what we had to start with. And this is the color that we ended up with. I couldn't have been more happy with the end result. I always advise people to go see a professional hairdresser. Don't try this at home. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you next week.